Only in Colorado today, this bird seed loving bear in South Boulder wandered right into a home, and the homeowner was inside when that Bruin broke in. Last June, Parks and Wildlife had to euthanize this bear caught lounging on this couch. It wandered into a Colorado Springs home while the homeowner was cooking bacon for breakfast. The bear today crawled in through a window and was able to get out on its own without any trouble. Thankfully, the homeowner is fine. CBS 4's Tori Mason on the story. Tori, neighbors say that bear was looking for food around several homes. Absolutely. Bears need to eat about 20,000 calories a day during the summer to survive the winter. And they're going to get that food the easiest way they can. That could be uh, digging through trash cans, breaking into backyards, or in this homeowner's case, going straight for the pet bowl. We could see it climbing over the fence and then uh, coming over into our yard. A hungry bear spent his morning turning Petersdale Court into a food court. He might have been about 200 pounds. It came through Janice Cohen's yard twice, finding breakfast and lunch. I looked out the window and saw him raiding the bird food feeder. He was eating a tube full of peanuts. After foraging through backyards, this bear decided he'd rather dine in for dinner. I guess I was uh, a bit surprised that he actually went into someone's house. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says the bear entered this home through an open window, devoured the cat food, and left the same way he came in. You hear about it a lot of times more in your, in your mountain towns where a lot of these homes or cabins probably don't have air conditioning. Clay says west of I-25 is typically bear habitat, but some do wander east of the interstate. Gun barrel is getting out a little bit on that edge where maybe your, your residents don't expect that. CPW can relocate bears, but it's not a fix-all solution. A bear relocated in Boulder last month was killed by a vehicle on its way back to a known area with food. I guess they're hungry for some reason this time of year. Now this bear knows where to eat. So, of course, no one was injured in this incident, luckily, and that cat food eating bear, well, he hasn't been seen since. We're live in Boulder, Tori Mason covering Colorado first. All right, Tori, thank you.